started. Wonderful. Hi, I am Dr. Mary Washington, the CEO and founder of Farm Tamer Productions, where you will find holistic and functional wellness through music and entertainment. I am hosting a series called Music in Stressful Times and music, a frontliner to COVID-19. Now, a frontliner is a person that represents a brand or a company that you would have a connection with and a source of communication. Uh, music, in this case, is the point of contact, a tool or a connection that you will have um, during this time of outbreak. And I have invited one of uh, a friend. She is known as the Empress of Cool. And before we get started, uh, the information provided by Farm Tamer Productions is for informational purposes only and is not intended as a medical advice, a substitute for medical advice, diagnosis, treatment, or a guarantee of an outcome. Well, this individual, as I stated, she's known as the Empress of Cool. She is a jazz artist and she is the cre creative director of the Gordon Music Group. And she enjoys creating opportunities for individuals as well as um, contributions to the growth of our home, Augusta, Georgia. So Karen Gordon, welcome, 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 welcome. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so very much. I am so grateful to be here and spend this time with you today with you and your listeners, watchers, viewers, all that today. So thank you so much. Yes, I really do appreciate you being here. And one of the things I know, we, we, we love music. And yeah. you have performed um, at many venues, even um, uh, across Augusta, Georgia and the CSRA area. And what I would like to get at is like, where does music begin? for you and before we jump right in i will say for me it's a journey that goes way back to when i was a child um, of course when we are kids your your senses are heightened you're enjoying the sounds around you you're trying to learn and just and learn and engage in everything that's uh, surrounding you the taste your sounds your smells and yeah. Um, I just remember being in a store and I had this music box that said, do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do, and yeah. playing music on that. And I remember that connection. I remember how it felt, which started my journey or say one of the aspects, because music has a historical footprint um, and starting the journey towards and just having that connection with music. And I would like for you to know where does your music begin um that's a great that's a great question um music started for me as a as a little kid um my uh father was a musician mm -hmm. he was classically trained we grew up in the we we got our start we were born in the metropolis of waynesboro georgia mm -hmm. so so he was a, a musician and he taught us to you know my older siblings and uh, my older brothers and younger brother and i he, he gave us a great foundation of music it was classical it was classical and gospel hmm. um and um that's where that's where it all started um my mother who's still with us she is not a musician but she um she supported all of our musical endeavors. So uh, from, from the, the very beginning until now, she's still very supportive of whatever it is that we try to do, whether it's, whether it's music or not, or whether it's community or not. That's, you know, that, that's how we got our start, is, um, is growing up. We, we didn't have a whole lot of stuff, but we had music. Mm -hmm. And we had the church, and that's where much of our initial introduction to music came from. Yes, and I could actually relate to that myself, um, being with music in the church. I sung in the choir, and that was also a part of my history, just to have my connection with music as well. Yeah. 
and how it has impacted my life from that forward on providing an emotional wellness state, I will say. Um, mm -hmm. It provides an opportunity for me to love more on myself and, and just enjoy just being me. Um, yeah. Sometimes, yeah. Because sometimes, you know, you just get a little bit um, side swiped on with everything that's going on, especially this outbreak. Um, yeah. You just get a, you just get lost in, yeah. in the person that you are. So I was wondering how has music impacted your life? Um, music is, is, has been like, like my, um, I don't know, I guess my, my, my center is, it's been something that I can, uh, uh, it's been it's been home for me. It's always been a place or a thing or a concept that I can always return to. For example, you know, right now we're we're my my, fam my family is moving. You know, we're moving we're moving into a new house, and uh, in the process of getting all those things together, um, I've always whenever I'm working, whenever I'm doing anything. I have music playing and I have a you know playlist for this, a playlist for gardening and whatever. So in the interest of uh, of planning everything out, I uh, I packed up I packed up my speaker. Um and so uh for for like a couple of days it was it was in a box and when I wanted to do something I couldn't I could listen to, you know, music on my phone or whatever, but 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 I couldn't listen to it the way that I wanted to, mm -hmm. and I was in a little bit of a funk, um, just because I, I I couldn't I couldn't get to my keyboard I couldn't get to my um, my Bluetooth speaker I couldn't play the music that I wanted to hear that I needed to hear, mm -hmm. uh, in order for me to be able to really to to function correctly, and so that really impacted the way that I showed up in the world that it impacted the way that I interacted with my family. Mm -hmm. um, and it was, I, I hadn't, I didn't think it was that deep, you know, until I, I could see it start to affect my mood, just not being able to get to music the way that I needed to. So, I mean, it is, it is, it is everything, you know, you ask my husband, he will tell you, <laughs> he will tell you that, you know, that music is like the most important thing to me so yes yes wow mm -hmm. i mean and i i'm just sitting here and i can just relate to that um sometimes you just you can be surrounded by a sound and if it's just that vibrational connection it depends on if like for you your keyboard the instruments um mm -hmm. vocals um uh, because i know that you do sing <laughs> yeah. and um, and I can say that even for myself, sometimes that connection just needs to equivalent, equivalent, if yes. that makes any sense, <laughs> what I'm trying uh -huh. to say, uh -huh. yeah. Um, yeah. Re regarding what the instrument that you're trying to present and also has a reflection on how you show up in the world um, as well. Right. And I guess what it comes down to, because I know with, with that, with that being said, it's more so for me a... Um, like I say, it's an, it's an encourager and inspire a stress reliever. Um, mm -hmm. cause I have a, like I say, I have a tendency to be hard on myself and I have to smile and just listen to music or I, I'll find myself, even if, cause I stay in a quiet home, um, nothing mm -hmm. is it playing at the moment. I will find myself just humming, but it's yeah. nothing like really just singing and listening to things and getting that emotional connection to something that will bring it out of you. That's making any sense. <laughs> yeah, 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 de definitely. It, it definitely does. And so I, 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 I definitely have that, have that same experience. And um, just, just as, you know, we as individuals, um, create or cultivate our relationships or cultivate our or curate our conversations um, based upon what we want to get out of them. I don't know if that makes any sense, but if we're 
if we're having a conversation, we, we're communicating with someone about something. We know who to talk to. Mm-hmm. We know who to talk to to get the desired result. So I, I, you know, along those same lines, if I'm trying to, if, if, if I'm feeling a certain way and I, and I, I have a choice, I have a choice on whether I want to continue to be um, uh, frustrated or angry or whether I really want to come out of that. And mm-hmm. so the music, the, 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 the sound stage essentially that I set um, really takes the lead with that. You know, if I want to, if I, if I want to just be mad for a while, I'm going to play, uh, or, you know, I'm going to play or listen to certain kinds of tunes. If I, if I'm, or if I want to, you know, just kind of lighten the mood and kind of raise the vibration, then I'm going to, I'm going to do, you know, something a little different. I mean, I, and, and I'm, I'm aware of, uh, um, keenly and acutely aware of the way that sound, uh, and I'm, le- I'm still learning the way that sound affects um, uh, everything, everything around you, mm-hmm. you know, mm-hmm. um, the, the different, the different types of sound. It's, it's, it's really, a, it's really cool. It's really amazing. Yes. So. Yes, it that. is. And um, it's like music, we have a connection with it. Sometimes it's just unexplainable. We cannot just fully describe it, but just sit in that moment and just feel what we are experiencing at that moment. Um, I do have another question for you. Okay. And it's during this times of, of course, the coronavirus outbreak or just any stress. But I want to know, hold on, before I get to that, <laughs> I would like to know um, if you could choose any song that will represent our present moment, what will that song be? Oh man, that's a great question. Um, there was a song, I mean, I have, I have, um, I have a lot of them and I, I've been listening to a lot of Stevie Wonder. Ooh. So mm-hmm. I, I want to say, uh, and Stevie, his movie soundtracks were wonderful. Mm-hmm. One of my favorite Stevie Wonder tunes. Uh, I'm I'm going to give you two actually, if that's okay. Cool. Yeah, give us two. <laughs> um, one is Stevie Wonder's um, uh, "Tomorrow Robins." was on the soundtrack of Jungle Fever. It was on the, the Spike Lee movie. But it was Stevie Wonder's Tomorrow, Robbins Will Sing. Stevie and then Wonders the other tomorrow. is Quincy Jones. Mm-hmm. Tomorrow, Robbins Will Sing. So okay. that's kind of like, you know, I, that's, a, that's, a, that's a song I listen to a lot. Uh, I play a lot whenever I'm feeling like away and I need to I'm like in a funk and I need to come out of it. They're, they're like several tunes. But Tomorrow Robbins Will Sing mm-hmm. is um, one of them. And then the other, which I just kind of stumbled upon a couple of days ago. Actually, it was on Monday. I posted it to my Facebook page. It's Quincy Jones. It's uh, uh, Tevin Campbell. Tevin Campbell sang it. It is is tomorrow. Okay. I hope tomorrow will bring a better you, better me. Ooh, um, good choice. Yeah. So um, it's it's all about for me. It's um for for me personally seeing the seeing the the potential that lies ahead of us, um, mm-hmm. as opposed to dwelling in whatever muck and mire we're in right now. You know, because you know, as the other song says, the song will come out tomorrow. It's gonna, it's gonna happen. Yes, it will. Yes, it <laughs> will. It like we're having. A- it will. You just gotta, you just gotta figure out. You got, you just gotta figure out how you're gonna show up, and you know when it, when it does. Mm-hmm. Yeah. T- tomorrow, the sun is gonna. Let me tell you, I gotta, sh- I gotta share this with you. Um, that storm. On on Sunday night, uh huh. 
uh, I wasn't I wasn't prepared for because I wasn't paying attention to the um, the news and the weather. But I, I, it woke me up at about four, and I was like, "Okay, we in these woods. Okay, this is not good. <laughs> this is gonna be a problem." But um, but when I finally, you know, when the sun started to come up, I heard I heard the birds singing. I'm like, if the birds are singing, mm -hmm. then it must be all right. Mm -hmm. You know, I hate to go back to I don't hate to go back to, but you know, we 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 tend to go back to the uh, you know after the the uh, the storm with 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 Noah and the ark, and you know when this dove showed up, you know, hey, mm -hmm. I think we're gonna be all right. So, yes, indeed, yes, we are, yes, we are. I am very thankful that you stopped by um, to speak with uh, me today on this, and oh, it's really been a joy and also an inspiration in um, talking to you today. So thank you so much, okay? Thank it's you, a, I appreciate it. And I appreciate you, you calling on me and giving me the opportunity to talk to you about, um, about how we as creatives um, can, uh, can, can navigate through these very troubled times. You know, the, mm -hmm. uh, we are the keepers of the culture and the things that we create during this time are going to last for decades and you know centuries and millennia millennia beyond our time here so it's very it's it's so important that we um be aware of that mm -hmm. that as artists that we have that that privilege and responsibility and i thank you for allowing me to talk about that Oh, no, but thank you. And there are more episodes that will be coming from Farm Tamer Productions. You can find Farm Tamer Productions on Facebook. Just follow and like, and as well as share this video to your friends. Um, also, YouTube. You can find Farm Tamer Productions on YouTube. I will have the video up there as well. So until next time, thank you all for listening to us, tuning in, and I hope that this was an inspiration or something that would provide an escape, go, uh, an escape from what is truly going on, which is the outbreak, which is sometimes is stressful on us at times. Until later.